market update, I can go into the prices and I can do all of that. Really, the main thing to talk about prices, I'm not even going to talk much about what they are specifically. Uh, I'll talk here for a second on Jumbo Yellows. They're up. They're up 50 cents to a dollar from where they were a week ago. And there's a couple of reasons. The first reason, we got rain. We didn't have enough onions in. Don't have them in storage yet. We're hand to mouth and we don't have them. So it changed a lot of attitudes and uh, reduced some of the supply that was available in the marketplace. The thing is, is the outlook. When we look at the market outlook, this could play a role in the long term. It's the second week of September and we are yet to start putting onions in storage. And I I don't mean us, I mean the entire Treasure Valley and most of the Northwest has not even begun storing onions. We are way behind and we have a long ways to go. The weather cycle has already changed. We're feeling very fallish. Um, Rain, temperatures that are 25 degrees cooler than they were a week ago. And I'm sure it'll warm back up, but it's still, now it's critical because our day length is longer and the longer the day length the more drying we can get so when we don't get drying when we have the longer days um, on the early part of the harvest season for onions it really really rears its awful head later on so harvest is going to be challenging and i think you're going to see continued pressure on the pricing for at least the next two or three weeks people are not going to have the labor number one because they're going to be using everyone to harvest and they're going to have to give it everything they have to uh, to try and beat Mother Nature and not leave fill onions in the field. So the next month or so, six weeks, heaven forbid it's six weeks, but it could be, um, you're going to see pricing that's higher. People are just not going to have the labor and the ability to get it done and uh, the willingness to, to discount prices and move volume. Um, from there, we are seeing enough of the yields to know that we're down 30%. You're going to see a 30% reduction this year over last year. That's another reason for the growers and the, the marketers and the shippers to be on board to hold the prices and to bring them up. You're not seeing real high prices now, and I'm not saying you're going to see 10 or $12, although I would love that. Um, but you're going to see some good pricing, and it's going to be justified. Um, and I think it's just going to be because natural the natural course of events is going to allow the growers to do that. So consider contracting if you haven't already. Um, unfortunately don't call me for contracts because we won't have anything extra available uh, this year to contract um, based on the way things are coming in beautiful looking crop but just plenty of small you know micro cuts you know death by a million paper cuts type of thing this year and uh, we're just going to keep doing the best that we can that's it catch you guys later